Good afternoon. I'm Wojtek Hodzko Zajko, Dean of the Graduate College, and I want to welcome you to a special celebration of our doctoral graduates at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. Although we cannot be together in person right now for our traditional hooding ceremony, we want to take this moment to applaud the accomplishment of those who have earned the highest degree, the doctorate. And we want to thank the family, friends, mentors, and colleagues who have been instrumental in this achievement. We know you share our immense pride in these outstanding graduates. Today's celebration will begin with congratulatory remarks from Chancellor Robert Jones and Provost Andreas Kangelaris. To all of you who have completed your doctoral studies, congratulations. Earning a doctoral degree is an enormous personal and professional milestone. Having reached this moment, many of you are probably feeling pride that is only matched by an enormous sense of relief. But trust me, that balance will quickly change. The relief part will fade, but the pride will only grow. You have earned your degree from one of the very best and most rigorous universities on the planet. The choice to pursue a doctoral degree requires more than just being a good student and having natural talent. It requires devotion to learning. It demands that you immerse yourself completely in your discipline. And it also usually requires you to become familiar with getting things wrong the first time, whether that's an unsuccessful experiment or a thesis argument that ultimately proves to be unsupported. Becoming a good scholar and a good researcher demands patience and it forces you to develop a discipline and a focus that is hard to explain to someone who hasn't been through it. This past year has created challenges beyond what any of us would have imagined, but it has also showed us the importance of seeking solutions to whatever lies ahead. We often say that the Illinois family is made up of people who rise to their very best when faced with a challenge. You have done exactly that. We are so proud of you, and we can't wait to see what you will accomplish next. Congratulations. My name is Andreas Kengelaris, and I am the Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs and Provost here at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. It is my great honor and privilege to acknowledge one of the most important moments of your academic careers. Thank you on behalf of our university and the state of Illinois for sharing your talent and your time, your most valuable assets with us. Without them, we cannot succeed in our mission as Illinois' Land Grant flagship university. Thank you on behalf of your mentors and advisors your aspirations and your ambitions inspired their pursuits. Your curiosity advanced their commitment to question the known and the familiar and to advance the human condition. Thank you on behalf of all of our students for being such an integral part of their education and training. You have been their peers and their friends and you served as advisors and role models. Their launch into successful careers and lives wouldn't have been possible without you. Thank you on behalf of our Urbana Champaign community for sharing with us your cultural perspectives and your values, enriching our diversity, advancing our global understanding, and for looking after the common good. Your commitment to everyone's well being with patience, compassion, and even personal sacrifice during this extraordinarily challenging and heartbreaking pandemic exemplifies what the world is able to overcome by coming together. Thank you on behalf of academia for having embraced and demonstrated through your scholarly contributions 
the power of the free, curious mind. We count on you to defend it and to protect it under any circumstances and anywhere in the world life takes you. The well-being of humanity depends on it. Thank you on behalf of the world for all the new ideas and new knowledge from your dedication and hard work. They are the promise and hope for a better tomorrow. And finally, thank you on behalf of the future for all the things yet to come because of you and all those who you will help, lead, and inspire. Congratulations, colleagues. Doctoral education would not be possible without the dedication of our faculty mentors. I can tell you from my own experience that mentoring graduate students through their journey is one of the most rewarding parts of the job. Our graduate students are at the heart of what we do, and we learn as much from them as they do from us. It is my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, Christopher M. Spann, Professor of Education Policy, Organization and Leadership, and Associate Dean in the College of Education. My name is Christopher Spann, and I am the Associate Dean for Graduate Education in the College of Education, and a Professor of History of American Education in the Department of Education Policy, Organization and Leadership, and a three-time graduate of this outstanding university. I am honored to serve as the keynote speaker on behalf of the Graduate College for this year's virtual celebration of doctoral graduates. One of my favorite quotes is by the late great humanitarian and South African leader, Nelson Mandela. Mandela once said, it all seems impossible until it is done. How appropriate for today. To all of our graduates and their families in attendance today, I say to you, it is done. You've done it. Congratulations. What perhaps seemed impossible when you started is now an accomplishment today. What an important milestone and reminder that all goals, no matter how big or time consuming, are accomplishable. You are the living proof. I thank you for choosing to be a part of the Illinois experience and story. As a historian, my job is essentially to document and record what happened. Each of you are a part of this important Illinois story. I look forward to seeing and sharing how your presence will be chronicled, not just as graduates of Illinois, but as leading contributors in research, teaching, and public engagement for society and life. Unless you started graduate school at the start of last year, I don't think any of us could have predicted or imagined the society and university we've inherited or reside within today. We celebrate this occasion, your commencement from us to the world in isolation through a virtual format because of a viral contagion plaguing humanity. We bear witness to an economic crisis unseen in a century. We stand at another crossroad determining a future of racial and social injustice. Many of similar mind and like as I believe that the behaviors, choices, and decisions we make today on these ongoing matters will define and determine the very soul and future of this nation, and in some ways, humanity itself. And yet, here you are, graduates on the cusp of venturing into this brave new world. Not as a future participant in picking a side and addressing these challenges, but as seasoned, competent, confident leaders, eager to up in them so we can usher in the next normal of society and life. I was able to witness and mentor some of you as you earn your degrees despite these challenges. I witnessed you protest racial and social injustice and push campus leadership to rethink the way we think and respond to these matters. I saw you on the front line modeling social responsibility, self-care and public engagement amid this pandemic and the challenges it hurled at us. I read how you developed alongside your professors innovation to create a saliva-based test to detect and stymie COVID. The breakthroughs redirected our campus. It gave us hope and a tool to solve this grand challenge. Just as important, I saw you proceed with grace and dignity as you were asked to defer or recalibrate courses and degrees, abruptly shift to unknown modified learning environments and wondering what the future holds for you and yours. A year ago, everything seemed impossible and uncertain, but here we are, here you are, 
proving the possibility of everything, even graduating with a master, doctoral, or professional degree with steadfast courage, strength, and confidence. I am proud to bear witness to your grit, persistence, and pioneering spirit. Many in this graduating class are the first in their families to earn a post-baccalaureate degree, the first to graduate with an IMBA or doctoral degree from an online degree offering, the first to have a child amid a pandemic and complete their degree requirements. I am honored to serve as a colleague, professor, friend, mentor, and witness to your perseverance and accomplishment, and I am very, very proud of you. You prove there are no such things as uncertainties if you have patience, good planning, and a strong moral compass. As I close, I want to leave you with two thoughts. The first is a recommendation. I ask you to remember what it took to get to this moment today. I speak from experience here. When the days ahead seem dim or out of balance, remember how you repeatedly mustered the focus and commitment to determine your seat at the table today. These attributes will ensure your future outcomes tomorrow. Your choices, all of them, the good and the bad, brought you here today. They will guide where you want to go tomorrow. Continue to learn from them. The second thing I want to leave you with is a reminder. Remember, at Illinois, you never walk alone. You are now a proud member of one of the largest alumni associations in the world. Welcome to the next normal of your professional lives and what it means to be a part of the Illinois family. Embrace this new relationship and continue to build partnerships, networks, and friends. And if you feel like the world isn't quite working as it should, remember who you are, who we are. We are Illinois, people that imagine futures yet unimagined and who through our collective intelligence and determination transform the impossible into endless possibilities. Again, congratulations and enjoy the day and fruits of your remarkable accomplishment. ILL. Our graduate students come to Illinois from every state in the union and from countries around the world with their diverse experiences and viewpoints. They come with a passion and determination to ask new questions and seek new answers, to envision new possibilities and to make a difference. The graduates we celebrate today join generations of distinguished University of Illinois alumni who are leaders and innovators, impacting the lives of people around the world. I am confident that these graduates, with their commitments and perseverance, will use their knowledge and expertise to shape our future in profound ways. It is now my honor to recognize the doctoral candidates for the May 2021 graduation. We present them in order of their academic college. From the College of Agricultural, Consumer and Environmental Sciences, the Department of Agricultural and Biological Engineering. The Department of Agricultural and Consumer Economics. The Department of Animal Sciences. The Department of Crop Sciences. The Department of Food Science and Human Nutrition. The Department of Human Development and Family Studies. The Department of Natural Resources and Environmental Sciences.
the Division of Nutritional Sciences. From the College of Applied Health Sciences, the Department of Kinesiology and Community Health. The Department of Recreation, Sport and Tourism. The Department of Speech and Hearing Science. From Geese College of Business, the Department of Accountancy, the Department of Business Administration, the Department of Finance. From the College of Education, the Department of Curriculum and Instruction, the Department of Education, Policy, Organization and Leadership. The Department of Educational Psychology. The Department of Special Education. From Granger College of Engineering, the Department of Aerospace Engineering, the Department of Bioengineering. The Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. The Department of Computer Science. The Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering.
the Department of Industrial and Enterprise Systems Engineering. The Department of Materials Science and Engineering. The Department of Mechanical Science and Engineering. The Department of Nuclear, Plasma, and Radiological Engineering. The Department of Physics. From the College of Fine and Applied Arts, the School of Art and Design. The Department of Landscape Architecture. The School of Music. The Department of Theatre. From the School of Information Sciences. Informatics. Information Sciences, from the School of Labor and Employment Relations. From the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, the Department of Anthropology. The Department of Atmospheric Sciences. The Department of Biochemistry. Biophysics and Quantitative Biology. The Department of Cell and Developmental Biology. The Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering. The Department of Chemistry.
the program in ecology, evolution, and conservation biology. The Department of Economics. The Department of English. The Department of Entomology. The Department of Geography and Geographic Information Science. The Department of Geology. The Department of History. The Department of Linguistics. The Department of Mathematics. The Department of Microbiology. The Department of Molecular and Integrative Physiology. The Neuroscience Program. The Department of Plant Biology. The Department of Political Science. The Department of Psychology. The Department of Sociology. The Department of Spanish and Portuguese. The Department of Statistics. from the College of Veterinary Medicine, the Department of Comparative Biosciences, the Department of Pathobiology, to all our graduates, I commend you on reaching the pinnacle of academic achievement. Your Illinois family is immensely proud of your accomplishments and takes great pride in calling you our alumni. I am certain that your future will be shaped by the very same passion and dedication that led you to earn your Illinois degree. Across our entire campus, we celebrate you. Getting a doctoral degree is just an immense honor and it really shows the world in just three letters, PhD, that you're really at the top of your field. And one of the great things about getting a PhD from the University of Illinois is that it really prepares you to do these meaningful things that your work isn't just going to just, you know, end up in a in just like a, a journal paper, but it actually can have impact on millions of people's lives. Graduating doctoral students remind me that nothing valuable comes easily, that almost all true achievements in life come only through years of effort. 
That's what I think of when I see doctor before someone's name, and that's why I think that title deserves such respect. Never forget that you have earned a degree from a world-class institution, a one that is respected around the world. And you should know that what you have to say will certainly matter. And I, I, I wish you just the very best in your life and all of your undertakings. We are Illinois, people that imagine futures yet unimagined, and who, through our collective intelligence and determination, transform the impossible into endless possibilities. Congratulations. Congratulations. We are so proud of you. 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 Congratulations. We're proud of you. Congratulations.